And now we have the standard deviation. Standard de deviation is also a measure of dispersion. It is a measure of the amount of variation or dispersion of a set of values. A low standard deviation indicates that the values tend to be close to the mean of the set, while a high standard deviation indicates that the values are spread out over a wider range. There are two types of standard deviation. The first type is the population standard deviation denoted by the symbol small letter sigma, while the population size is denoted by capital letter N and the population mean is denoted by mu. The second type is the sample standard deviation denoted by small letter S. Then, the sample size is denoted by small letter n, and the sample mean is denoted by x bar. Example, find the standard deviation of the data set with elements 6, 2, 3, and 1. So the first step is to find the population mean mu. So population mean is equal to the sum of all the elements in the data set. We have 6 plus 2 plus 3 plus 1 divided by the total number of elements in the given data set, which is 4. So the population mean is equal to 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And then, step 2, find the square of the distance. Find the square of the distance from each data point to the mean. So we have the absolute value of x minus the population mean squared. So we have here the column for the values of x. The column for the absolute value of x minus the population mean squared. So we have 6. So as the value of x, we have 6 minus 3 squared is equal to 9. And then the absolute value of 2 minus 3 squared, we have 1. 3 minus 3 squared is 0. And then the absolute value of 1 minus 3 squared is 4. Then using the formula for the population standard deviation, we have the square root of the summation of the absolute value of x minus the population mean squared divided by n. That is equal to the square root of 9 plus 1 plus 0 plus 4 divided by 4. So the population standard deviation is equal to the square root of 14 divided by 4 is equal to the square root of 3.5 or approximately equal to 1.87. Next is variance. It refers to a statistical measurement of the spread between numbers in a data set. More specifically, variance measures how far each number in the set is from the mean and thus every other number in the set. There are two types of variance. The first type is the population variance, denoted by the square of the small letter sigma, and mu as the population mean and capital letter N as the population size. The second type is the sample variance, denoted by the square of the small letter S, where X bar is the sample mean and small letter N is the sample size. Example, let's calculate the sample variance of the following data set, 2, 7, 3, 12, and 9. So the first step is to calculate the population mean. So we have mu, is equal to the sum of all the elements, 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 12 plus 9 divided by the total of number of elements in the data set, which is 5. So we have the population mean equal to 6.6. .6. Now let's use tabular method to calculate for the variance or to calculate the variance. We have the first column, x, second column, x minus mu, and third column, x minus mu squared. So we have the values of x, 2, 7, 3, 12, and 9. Then we have the values of x minus mu. So 2 minus the population mean 6.6. .6. We have negative 4.6. 7 minus 6.6 is 0 0.4. 3 minus 6.6 .6 is negative 3.6. 12 minus 6.6 .6 is 5.4. 9 minus 6.6 .6 is 2.4. And we have to square these values. Negative 4.6 squared is 21.16. 0 0.4 squared is 0 0.16. Negative 3.6 squared is 12.96. 5.4 squared is 29.16. And 2.4 squared is 5.76. Then we have to uh, get the summation of these values. 
the summation of x minus mu squared is 69.2. Then we have to substitute this to the formula to determine the population variance. So we have here population variance is equal to the summation of x minus mu squared, which is 69.2, divided by the total number of elements in the data set, which is 5. Therefore, the population variance is 13.84. Now, what's the difference between standard deviation and variance? Variance is the average square deviations from the mean, while the standard deviation is the square root of this number. Both measures reflect variability in a distribution, but their units differ. Standard deviation is expressed in the same units as the original values, like minutes or meters. While variance is expressed in much larger units, such as square meters or square yards or square inches. Percentiles. A percentile is a, is a term used in statistics to express how a score compares to other scores in the same set. A value called x, called the pth percentile of a data set, provided p percent of the data values are less than x. Given a set of data and a data value x, so the percentile score of x can be calculated by the ratio of the number of data values less than x divided by the, to the total number of data values times 100. Example, you are the fourth tallest person in a group of 20. It means that 80% of the people are shorter than you. It also means that you are the 80th percentile of the data set. If your height is 1.85 meters, then 1.85 meters is the 80th percentile height in that group. Next is quartiles and box and whisker plot. The quartiles of a data set are the three numbers Q1, Q2, and Q3 that partition the ranked data into four approximately equal groups. Quartile 2 is the median of the data, quartile 1 is the median of the data values less than quartile 2, and quartile 3 is the median of the data values greater than quartile 2. Quartiles are the values that divide a list of numbers into quarters. Quarters means four groups. Next is box and whisker plots. A box and whisker plot is a display used to show the quartiles and the maximum and minimum values of a data set. Example, given the data set 5, 7, 4, 4, 6, 2, and 8, first step is to put them into order from lowest to highest. So from the given data, we rearrange that and it becomes 2, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Next is we have to cut the list into quarters, meaning we are going to divide the group of data or the elements of the data sets into four groups. Since the number of elements is odd, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, so 7 is an odd number, it means that the middle number is the median. And take note that quartile 2 is the median of the data set. Therefore, since 5 is the middle number, 5 is the median or the quartile 2. And quartile 1 is the median of the lower half of the data set. It means lower half is the elements of the data set below the median or below 5. These elements are 2, 4, and 4. And the median between 2, 4, and 4 is 4. Therefore, therefore, quartile 1 is 4. Next is quartile 3. Quartile 3 is the median of the upper half of the data set. Therefore, in this case, quartile 3 is 7. And the result is, again, quartile 1 is 4, quartile 2 is 5, and quartile 3 is 7. Example number two. Given the data set 1, 3, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 8. The numbers are already in order. So therefore, we have to cut the data set or the elements of the data set into four parts. If we count the elements of the data set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 elements and 10 is even. Therefore, 
the two middle numbers or the mean of the two middle numbers is the median or the quartile 2. The two middle numbers are 5 and 6. Therefore, the median or quartile 2 is the mean of 5 and 6. Hence, quartile 2 is 5 plus 6 divided by 2 is 5.5. And quartile 1 is the median of the lower half. And the lower half are 1, 3, 3, 4, and 5. And the middle number is 3. Therefore, the lower quartile or quartile 1 is 3. And quartile 3 is the median of the upper half. And the elements of the upper half is 6, 6, 7, 8, and 8. And 7 is the quartile 3 or the upper quartile. So the results are lower quartile or quartile 1 is 3, quartile 2 is 5.5, quartile 3 is 7. Now for the box and whisker plots, we have here the upper extreme, the lower quartile, the median, the lower quartile, the lower extreme, we have the box and the whisker. When we say lower extreme, it is the smallest value in a given data set. When we say upper extreme, it is the highest value in a given data set. Median value is the middle number in the data set or the quartile 2. Lower quartile, below that value, the lower 25% of the data are contained. Upper quartile, above that value, the upper 25% of the data are contained. And the whiskers, the lines that extend from the boxes, they are used to indicate variability out of the upper and lower quartiles. Example, suppose you have the math test results for a class of 15 students. Here are the results. We have 91, 95, 54, 69, 80, 85, 88, 73, 71, 70, 66, 90, 86, 84, and 73. So the first step is to arrange the data or the elements of the data from lowest to highest or in increasing form. So it becomes, we start from the data 54 up to 95. Second step is to find the median of the data. If we count the number of elements in the data set, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There are 15 elements in the data set. Therefore, 15 is an odd number. Hence, the middle number is the median. And from the order, we have the middle number 80. Thus, 80 is the median or the quartile 2. This is an odd set of data. You have 15 data points. It means that the middle point is 80 as there are 7 data points above it and 7 numbers below. Step 3. Find the middle points of the two halves divided by the median. Find the upper and the lower quartiles. So 80 is the quartile 2 or the median. Then we have 7 elements in the lower half and another 7 elements in the upper half. The median of the lower half is 70 and it represents the lower quartile or the quartile 1. While the median of the upper half is 88, it represents the upper quartile or quartile 3. Then step 4, find the extreme values. This is the easiest part. You need to find the largest and the smallest data values. Extreme values, the lowest is 54 or the lower extreme, and the upper extreme is 95 or the highest value. So we can determine that the five number summary of the class of students is 54 as the lower extreme, 70 as the quartile 1 or the lower quartile, 80 as the quartile 2 or the median, 88 as the quartile 3 or the upper quartile, and 95 as the upper extreme. Now we are absolutely ready to draw our box and whisker plot. So here is the whisker plot. We have to locate here the median is 80, then 70 is the lower quartile, then we have here the upper quartile, the upper extreme, and the lower extreme. And we have the box, so this is the 25%, then upper 25%, then another 25%, and 25%. So the total of this is 100. So that's it for today. That ends our lesson for 
week 8 thank you